to um, thank everybody for coming today. Um, this has been an ongoing project as part of the beautification of the community garden. Um, we have got a lot of people to thank for this and I'm sure that this area is going to be used a lot, especially in the summertime. I mean, look at the view. I mean, you don't even realise that the view was there until this was all cleared. <laughs> and it started off with one olive tree. So we had an olive tree that somebody planted years and years ago and we decided to do a whole group of them. It's probably, what, seven, eight years until we get the actual olives. But anyway, that'll be nice. Um, but it's all come together and what um, a lot of the driving force has been Simone. Simone has had this idea and now it's come to fruition. She has ably instructed Karen to do these most beautiful murals. Um, she just gave her a general idea and this is the end result. So would you like me to pull these down? Yeah. Um, number one. See if I can do it. Oh, oh potatoes. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, very pretty. Wow, Karen, lovely. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, very This one might do, do better. Right. Yay. Isn't that cool? So the idea of it is to have the Mediterranean feel and maybe one day we'll get a pizza oven and we've got some wine today just to celebrate and toast and we've got some lovely um, um, grapes that are actually potting and look at these figs, have people seen the figs? How incredible is that? <laughs> um, so I'd like to thank the, um, the immensely talented Karen Leslie from Karen Leslie Art um, for what she's done here. She is just incredible. She just gets this idea and I just, I don't know, she just, it all happens. Yeah, with ease and it's absolutely beautiful. I would like to thank all the garden members. They do a wonderful, wonderful job, even if they get surprised every day with huge potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should have. We, yeah, but the amount of work that they do and the passion, like if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have this most beautiful garden. Um, special thanks to Christian and Hank. Hank didn't come today, but Simone's got a little thank you for them because they went all the way to Grassy to pick these up for us. Um, sometimes we just need that added bit of strength and oomph and um, the guys never, ever let us down. Um, and as an acknowledgement to our wonderful Sandra, she has kindly donated a sundial behind us. And what you were saying, Sandra, that how many times? First time in 50 years it'll actually have a home. This will be a standing reminder to um, John, John and Sandra, and thank you so much. We might even just put a little plaque on it to say, the heritage of it, which will just add in to this. Course. In due course, in due We're course. We're getting off. This is only the beginning of the Mediterranean Garden. Within yeah. a few years, like it'll all grow up um, and it'll be here for the community to enjoy. So thank you, everybody. Um, feel free to eat something. So I will now declare the Mediterranean area opened. Please charge your glasses. Yeah, we got some red wine, yes. Hi, my name's Sally Hanavier. I'm the manager of Phoenix Community House. Um, Phoenix Community House encompasses um, two main projects, being the King Island Community Garden and the King Island Men's Shed. Today, we are in the King Island Community Garden, opening the new Mediterranean area. Um, this has been part of the community garden refurbishment, um, which we were very proud of all our volunteers and members that have been an inaugural part of getting this part of our garden started. Um, the King Island Community Garden started in 2011 by a group of passionate people, notably um, the late Joss Bowden, the late um, Adolf Hoffman and Serena Laidler was, had a lot of input into that as well. It started off on the very bare minimum, it was just a dedicated group of people. Um, and over the years it's evolved, we've, we've managed to secure some funding which has helped to replace like the watering and put in tanks and to um, replace the beds which has really made it what it's evolved in today.
The purpose of the King Island Community Garden is um, centred around our project work on frugal living where we understand that the cost of living on King Island is higher than most places in Tasmania, in Australia. So what we're trying to do, encouraging through planting, through workshops, through projects, through giving away free produce, is for people to, to be eating and growing their own fresh organic um, produce. Um, and this of a Wednesday, the amount of people that come in for their produce and keep coming back for more, we're obviously on a winner. And a lot of people, traditionally King Islanders weren't really into fruiting and cropping, um, but I think that's changing as they um, try to cope with the cost of living. So they're wanting to plant out their gardens and plant fruit trees, but a lot of them haven't got the knowledge how to do that or how to ma maintain that. This is how the community garden supports them. I'm Karen. I'm Simone. And this is the Mediterranean Garden and the murals that um, we both had a hand in with ideas, sort of getting um, inspiration from Mediterranean garden flowers and fruit and that. And we just thought, keep it simple, make it impactful, nice bright colours. Um, and yeah, so sort of we, we chose like orange flowers and lemons and saffron flowers and lavender because they were like some of the most commonly known and they're also plants garden. and uh, herbs that we're hoping to bring into the Medi Mediterranean area that um, so that the entire community can utilize.